Well, welcome to the vlog. Looks like something's going on here today. Uh, I just got here a couple minutes early, actually. It's about a quarter of, and beautiful 74 degrees. Tons of people out over there on the, uh, the commons lawn, whatever. It's a beautiful spring day anyways, uh, so not too sure what's going on. I see Army and uh, National Guard trucks all over the place, though. They're probably advertising for something. <laughs> I hear music, it's about two o'clock. I got 15 minutes before class starts, so I'm gonna walk over there, see what all this is about. I think the next clips will be. I don't really know. I can see that there's lots of people, but I don't know why, and I'm not going to ask. seasons anymore apparently it's 40 and then it's uh, 85 is the current temperature that is oppressively hot to me I can't take 85 degrees that means windows up air conditioning on full blast and I can barely move what a miserable place to be again well 89 degrees is our new temperature I mean some people like the hot I hate the hot heat uh, between 65 and 75 is where I am very comfortable. If I'm going to go to the pool all day in the middle of the summer, sure, what the hell, toast it up, bud, give me 90. But when I have yards to mow and shit to do, hell no! I vastly prefer 70 or 75. Oh, hell yes! You know what this place is? Yeah, that's the local watering hole, boys. We're here. Yeah, yours truly, we're gonna go eat outside. I'm like 20 minutes early. It's all good. Meet your grandparents. Oh yeah, aside from having his hood halfway open and it being a grammatic transmission, it is a 535, so I'll take it. Typical, we have our first train of the night. I predict we'll see uh, at least two, probably closer to three. Here at the YT, it's about 83 now, so it's finally more comfortable, but you know me, Ferrari shirt too. Well, there's number two at breakneck speed. Everything looks the same out here. Oh. What is that? I don't really know what that is. That could be a Dodge, a gold Dodge from the 40s probably. Check it out. Miami of Ohio students ahead of us. Anyhow, dinner's done. That was excellent. It is uh, 83 still, and I gotta get out of first or second. Yeah, it's so nice. Anyways, I uh, had myself some uh, some chocolate sundaes afterwards, so that ran a few minutes over. Anyways, I'm gonna head back to the house now. I think Alex and Brosvon are coming over. Freaking right to kick the weekend off. And there's a 911, looking sharp. We will cut through town, since that's how we're on the way home, and see if there's any cool cars out. A uh, Rolls Royce drove by twice, big old, new, big Phantom. Uh, it's actually brown metallic. Anybody that knows what I'm talking about knows what it is around here. See if we see anything cool. I'll just keep filming, you guys get to have a, a mounted steering wheel-esque top view. Three series over there. I'm not looking at the camera right now. I gotta negotiate this intersection. There's three palms over there somewhere. And no, uh, I don't really see anything. Bunch of Mercedes, typical. So an A4 over here. A6, same shit. And a Lincoln. Okay, I do see a Hudson car of interest up here. Maybe you see it by now. Yeah. It's an Audi. Looks cool. Mustang GT, for those of you who like that kind of stuff. Hundred and seventy-five thousand miles. Congratulations. Seven twenty-four PM on four eighteen two thousand twelve. Uh thirteen. <laughs> The last big landmark like this was 150,000, and let you tell, let me tell you, a lot has changed to this car over the last 25,000 miles. Uh, a couple dollars, Dad, you can uh, you can affirm that, but uh, yeah, 175. 
That's a big number. Maybe it's going to have to get cleaned up tonight. I think it is supposed to rain tomorrow, though. I don't know. Do I have to go out tomorrow? Potentially, no. I'll keep you posted. All right, guys. Apparently, I went a little too fast on the way home. I'm going to film him. If he tells me to turn it off, then I will. David's farm filmed everything, right? Oh, wait. That's Rosvon. Never mind. Is it going? Yep. It's a dead one. I'm keeping my eyes on the top of this thing in case it starts coming down on us. Oh. One more. Don't don't get it in the Y on that one. Almost, there you go. It's gonna make a mess though. Yeah, finish the job. Wait, now you can climb it. Yeah, you're gonna have to climb it. Climb it like Spider-Man. <laughs> Ross, just be careful if it goes your way. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Oh, God. Did you film it? <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> that was perfect. Look at the wood inside. Yeah, that's been dead for a couple weeks. All right, guys, 2.29 in the morning now. Welcome back. Uh, nice little romp in the romp. Nice little romp in the woods. And uh, guess what? I've been out in the garage doing some work. Colts in the headphones. Yeah, that's a sponge. Ha. <laughs> It was supposed to rain all week. Turned out it only rained on Tuesday. If I would have known that, I wouldn't have driven the car Tuesday and I wouldn't have had to do this again. But, did a nice job. Took about uh, two hours and 10 minutes. Washed and waxed with uh, Z8. Just some spray wax, but now it's really smooth again. And it's beautifully reflective. Oh yeah. So I'm happy with that. Did the wheels, did the exhaust. I didn't do the tire shine since I already did that Monday night. Or, whenever I was last out here, but it is beautiful outside. It's probably 70, 75 degrees right now. Um, I think it's cloudy, which is actually good at night. Keep the heat in. Um, we're going to shit tomorrow. Tomorrow night, it's gonna be like 35 degrees is a low and 50 is a high, but spring in Ohio, what do we expect? So I'm gonna clean all this up, finish up the call with Colton a little bit, get this edited, and uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Today was pretty productive in getting the car cleaned up and all that, and it was a beautiful day. I'm going to miss this for the next week while we're back in the 50s and 60s. But, as I said, it's spring. Talk to you guys tomorrow on Friday.